All right, uh, we're back. Chris Garlock joined, of course, by Stephen Hu. And before we get to, we were going to just do this, this recap, yeah. wrap up the Congress, have a nice little chat. But, <laughs> uh, so remember oh, yeah. when we last left, uh, Elon, uh, Mr. Yang, he had to go off, catch his plane, so we wanted to wrap up. It was looking pretty solid uh -huh. uh, for Mr. An to wrap up the Masters and be the champion. We were pretty much writing that story. But um, remember how I was talking about sometimes in those early rounds and you've got Roger Federer playing some guy you never heard of. Yeah. And, but every once in a while, Roger gets knocked out right, in the first round. So mm -hmm. Tim Song, our little Tim Song, <laughs> <laughs> just took down uh, Anda Sun. So can we do a little? Can we do a little uh, little Tim Song dance here? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. So we really doing so, this on so, air? <laughs> no. So we need to actually take a look and see uh, what right. the heck happened because right. this is. Um, I mean, first of all, congratulations to Tim. I mean, I feel bad for the tournament director because he's got. It is a crazy. Oh, yeah. It's a crazy tiebreak situation now. I, I think it's. Uh, I think it's a happy dilemma though. Because like. You know, Tim defeated Andal Hun. Yeah. Right? And that, that, that's another everybody. upset. And that, what's, on, what's going on board two? Oh, did I mention that? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Ding also lost. Oh, wow. I know. And I haven't seen really? the game. Yeah. Uh, well, we have a report okay. uh, uh, the, uh, from the game recorder. And so it's not been confirmed, confirmed. Right, um, right. So it is possible, if our reports mm. are correct, that both nine on professionals lost in the final round Again. of the Masters. So anything can happen here at the U.S. Open Masters. Right, right. I mean, that's the beauty <laughs> of it, right? You know, with you know tournaments by human players, it's not like you know AI matches. They can make mistakes, and even even like nine of professionals, like An Dahun and the Dingwei, you know, they're very very strong. But of course, our players are uh, very competitive as well. So you know, they can definitely bring the upset. And this is you know <laughs> this is what's happened here. And I mean, this is just too good not to cover, right? I know, right? So that's we gotta, uh, we're, we're going to take a, a look bit. at it. All right, so let yeah. me. Uh, so when we left, this was the last move. Uh, white covers. Sure. Black Hanes. This is all, all fairly right. straightforward. Black descends. So remember, I was a little worried about the eye shape here. Yeah. So white, black should be okay here now, right? Yeah. So, so, so white is. You're the six down. So I'm gonna ask. Oh, <laughs> I'm just three down. I'm uh, a surf. Not, yeah. um, so black is just calmly sort of cashing in his uh, his uh, territory here, right? I guess. I guess so. Uh, what was your verdict when you were left? Well, Mr. What Mr. Yang yeah. was saying was that you know black is gonna live here, and white just doesn't have that much territory. Uh, and not really right. any targets, mm -hmm. and and then uh, this was going to be big end game. So he he was feeling pretty confident that this was going to be very uh, uphill battle for Tim. So let's right. see what Tim did. There must be some sort of turnaround, right? Let's so. see if we can spot it. So this is nice. Yeah. So there we go. Black black yeah. black cashes a check for some territory on the mm -hmm. side there. White switches off at you know, and there should be no problem for black. Yeah. Black, black attaches. Honey. This is pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. I, I think both of them are low, low uh, well, on time. I, right? I actually think uh, I should think just Mr. Is it An, Mr. An, or Mr. Yeah. Dasun? Uh, Mr. An. Mr. An. I think Mr. An is the one who is in. Uh, Biyomi. He's in Biyomi. Right, right. I had, when last last note you had given me was was that uh, Tim had like thirty minutes or something. Yeah, he's down to five though. So I think when we, when you guys left off, he also had just like five minutes where maybe he's already in Biyomi. Okay. So. There must be really long time here, and as, as as we've already you know witnessed this week, Biyomi could do weird things to you. Oh yeah. So, oh yeah. You know, n no one is uh, nobody is just immune to mistakes when right. you are you know under time well, pressure. Maybe like Mr. That. Yang was saying, and I've seen this. You know, Mr. Yang was saying he doesn't like to be you know, and this is not even end game. This is still right. the middle game, and right. they're both in Biyomi. Uh, I mean, so, this is only like move hundred and thirty something. Right. Right. Okay. So white extends. White extends. Blocks. And white extends on the other side. Yeah, so black, black, to live, black has to live. Yeah. White, white has to connect. That's a cutting point here, so definitely gotta fix this. So white fixes that. Black extends. This is where I'm saying that. Actually, right we have we have the chief game recorder here who we can now confirm. Dennis, so it is is it is it true our reports that Mr. Ding lost on board two? Is that correct? It is correct. Oh wow! And and Mr. An also we saw uh, was defeated on on board one. You you recorded that game, so 
You Despite should. Despite your earlier predictions, yes. Oh, he's got. <laughs> I can't even fire him because he's a volunteer. <laughs> Great job, by the way, Dennis. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I'm. I'm going to take full responsibility for for uh, for that mistake. So, we're, but we're going to figure out right. what happened here. All right. I, I do want to see the finish. And, so. and we can't believe that we didn't believe in Tim. So, yeah. we should right, have, So extend we should have done here, Hane. Right. Uh, also, were they both in overtime at this point? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm had only one period left, and Tim had two. Oh, so they, okay, this, and you were right, oh, wow. so they were both under the, and every 30 seconds. Right. So Andalf was in sudden death, it seems, right? He so has, he has sudden, to play. Yeah, he has to play, exactly. If he doesn't produce the goods in, that, in 30 seconds, then he's, uh, it's game over. So right, well, stay here, Dennis, because we may have more questions <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. for you. All right, so this is getting pretty hairy. Yeah. So black, hmm. Black attaches here. Uh, so Hane, don't analyze this. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't I know. know. I'm just like marveling at all this crazy stuff that's going on. Okay. Extend. I don't have the calm voice of uh, Mr. Elon Yang. Okay. <sighs> so black. Yeah. All of a sudden, uh, uh, just looking at this, this is looking a little tricky. This group is not 100% alive yet, right? Right. Exactly. Um, and this uh -huh. group, actually, with all these white stones, some placements could become possible, yeah, could right? Be something, something like this. this. Yeah. So. This is white extended. Hmm, what is this? That's I can do? for life, maybe. I don't have time to read it. Or actually, oh, maybe you know what? That's, that a, a, that a, mis that's a mistake. Somebody, ah. possibly the game recorder, made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to get that back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes more sense. I was actually wondering for a second why Black Tanuki didn't play this way away. Sorry, guys. Uh, extend. Uh, by the way, this is all totally white territory, mm -hmm. so that's nice. Right. Uh, black goes connect. here, so These black is out. Right. Right. Okay. White blocks, that's pretty straightforward. By the way, so if white connects here now, all of these die. That's right. a problem. So a, oh, Atari, okay. Takes off the stones. Black is Atari, but can take off these stones. Okay, so maybe he's aiming at some like weakness. And now here. this is uh, this is a problem. So like, right. White has to take these. Yeah, if he, if he just takes these, he's not probably not being large enough to mm -hmm. recover. From Black the, uh, cuts, loss. trying to start a little something there, but it's not really working. Hmm. Right, goes there, there, there. I, w I wonder if this is just time, Suji. To be honest. I assume so. All right, Atari. He probably can't believe he's even having to do this. I, mean, yeah, I think he was already I thinking mean, about lunch, right? Right, but you know that's again that's what time pressure can do to you sometimes when you're when you're under Biyomi and your opponent has plenty of time, then you know they can they can use your Biyomi to think as well. But you can't and cause trouble right. for you while you're in the shortage of time. Exactly, exactly. But this is this is just yeah. looking at this is a real problem for Black because the more the white comes in here, then these get weaker. Right. And these are still not alive. So, right, so white just connects out. Here. Black connects. Oh, well, sorry, black uh, attaches. Right, connect. Must oh, take. Must take. White pushed. Must be another time thing. Another time, Suji. Yeah. And then. Here. And I oh, think, is it, so is, uh, Dennis, was this a loss on time or just resign? Because right. Oh wow. Right. Okay. Right. And so the so we can explain this now. Why? So why does Black resign at this point, Stephen? Um, it's, it's hard to it's hard to say because um I can't give a like an accurate analysis because I'm not a pro. But give I, it your I best think, shot. I think um I think Black was trying to contain this this white uh, group here. So it appears that now um you know Black can't do it anymore because you know if uh, Black tries to block, then mm -hmm. White was Atari. So right. if Black extends. Then white would just uh, just push out as well. So there's no way that black will connect. So it to, it yeah. to make these live, then these are gone. Right. right. So so if these are gone, then you know therefore we'll just, we'll, we'll notice that you know in the top right corner this this group's in danger and this group as well. So mm -hmm. and I mean just uh, white killing these three stones is a lot of points. Mm -hmm. You know, and he, if he has sente, then he can just, you know do stuff like on the bottom side here. Because remember that the this second is line's really still big. open. Right, right, right. Right. So you know there's, there could be still some um, you know uh, annoying things for black to handle. 
Uh, but I think it was, yeah, it was just because the uh, the loss uh, in the center was too big, and you know, despite the fact that Black may have captured a lot of stones, like several stones there, it's not actually not a lot, a lot of territory. So you know, you still have to look at the you know life and death shapes here. But that's just my two cents on it. Um, I think that I think that maybe uh, you know when Mr. An was low on time, that that contributed to the difficulty um, in reading because when he played all these you know time CG moves, actually mm -hmm. you know it's actually good for White because um, it's in terms of points, you know this solidifies the top side and also just you know White has fewer co threats left, right? So normally you don't be doing that, but when I, when I saw that um, you know Black was doing all these time CG moves, I I kind of got a feeling that he was in trouble mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. he was looking for a way out, but you know there simply just wasn't a way that he could kill this white group. And I think this uh, game is a really good example. And Mr. Yang talked about it that he he didn't like Tim's move here mm -hmm. because he he basically sort of turned the driving in this game over right. to Mr. An. Yeah. Um, and an I non professional just kind of drove it and controlled the whole rest of the game. Yeah. And my gut just from seeing this is that mm -hmm. maybe Mr. An got a little casual. He was feeling pretty a comfortable, confident. a little yeah. overconfident. At the same time, that Tim was like, you know, he was really bearing down. We'll talk to Tim yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and and see what he has to say. But my feeling is that Tim was like, I'm not going down without a fight. Right. At the same time, uh, and and that that combination of Mr. An maybe you know, easing off the gas just a bit, yeah. and Tim kind of stepping on the gas. Yeah. Uh, and he, and, and it, but, but all credit to Tim for really uh, right. bringing it. Yeah, it's an amazing fight back, <laughs> and I think, uh, and, and Go is just like that. You know, yes. if, you, if you ever get too casual, if you get too confident, then you might be just playing a move that's, you know, not the best, and then your opponent can just catch up with you, mm -hmm. just like that. So, you know, you always, if you are trying to win a game, you always have to, you know, be focused and just, you know, keep punching. It's like a boxing match, you know? If you don't punch, then your opponent might just punch back. What's well, one of the hardest things? Winning a one game. We have, I've heard lectures on it. You know, how many yeah. times have you had a game where you're ahead and you're winning and you're already thinking about you know <laughs> <laughs> a few yeah. times, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, sometimes it's not ex uh, exactly easy just winning a one game because mm -hmm. you might you might get confident, uh, but you might also just you know not know what to do because if you you know if you give away too much, then your opponent's going to catch up. If you play too aggressively. Then that your opponent could just sense a weakness in your shape and then catch it from there. So sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do, even mm -hmm. though you might be leading on the board. I mean, I, we talked to Andy earlier, right? And, and in his interview, he said that just by you know studying all the uh, AI games, he, he learned how to play calmly and just mm -hmm. kind of protect the lead. I think that's the most important thing to do. But of course, um, I think I think definitely just time pressure uh, applies to that as well. It's it's difficult. To come up with a game plan, with a clear game plan, we're just you know under the 30 second BOMI pressure, especially right. under sudden death. Well, I have to say that for you all out there, that was very exciting. So uh, right. we, we uh, I, I feel bad for for Mr. Han. We we and, didn't see this coming, uh, did we? Uh, no, no, really. You know, we thought it was fine to let Mr. Yang go catch his flight. We'd be okay. But it, it's a lesson to us about you know we should we should never assume anything. So right, we'll, right, uh, right. we'll we'll work on that for next time. So yeah. I guess um, what's the story with the tournament now? Now you know we have this a string of upsets again. So <laughs> here's the deal. Uh, I would just keep. Going. Uh, go to usgo.org. Uh, I will, as soon as we get done with this, I will go mm -hmm. talk to the TDs and we will get the results. It's going to be a busy afternoon. Will, well, it'll be a busy afternoon. We'll put those results up there. You can also, again, find out everything that you need to know about the wonderful game of Go, where to play, how to play, uh, how to get some teachers, right. and of course the results. Uh, we'll have not only the results from the US Open Masters, uh, but of course there's the US Open, uh, lots of results there. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching and you're a Go player and you've yeah. been thinking about your uh, players, uh, you can see how they've done. So why yeah. don't we bring uh, the man behind the screen, Nathan <laughs> Epstein. It's the moment he's been waiting for all week. I know. We're gonna, <laughs> now you get to see what Nathan looks like and yeah, sounds actually, like. He's actually worn a presentable shirt for this occasion. Not like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, yeah, these are two versions of they the They are. Shirt. This yeah, is yeah. the staff shirt. All right. This is nice. Welcome, Nathan, Nathan Epstein. Welcome, Nathan. Hello. Good to have you here. Hey. First of all, thank you so much for all yeah. your amazing work this week. I mean, just making all of the connections and, and all of this stuff to, to put us on, on uh, Twitch TV. So, big thanks. Well, Stephen had a big part in that, too. I, I was literally making the connections. Not just a pretty face. With the cables. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. this, this cable's got the USB plug and the HDMI plug. Lots of connections there. But maybe even more important connection is the connection to Twitch. 
which yeah. has been really tremendous for us. So. Right, right. I mean, it's, I think it's, uh, it all stemmed from, you know, nice vibes after we did the April 28th broadcast, you know, the Twitch Place Go event. So I actually I asked them if we could do some follow-up events, such as the U.S. Go Congress, which is naturally, you know, the largest convention and tournament in, in, in North America. So, and I said yes. So, you know, we're really grateful for that. But obviously none of that would have happened without our tech crew just working really hard in, in the background. To me, like for me, like when I'm hosting up here, it's actually easier. But I, I feel like you know, you know, these tech coordinators, their their job is very hard. You know, yeah. as, as experience, <laughs> we've experienced this like a lot of times, like backstage. You know, when a cable goes out or like the feed is uh, out. You know, the feed is black. And so we have to. And the cameras yeah, are fighting. And, yeah. Then we have to. Yeah. Then we have to like fix it immediately. Another one. Another one person I want to mention. Uh, he's not here with us. Uh, he's actually uh, gone back home last night. Joe Halen. Oh, Joe is oh, great. Uh, so calm. Yeah. <laughs> he's so calm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. You, you, you really need that room. calm. Yeah. Yeah. Everything when all when all so, heck is breaking loose and just. Did you right. plug in both ends of the cable? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> but he was, right, say, right. he was saying it in such a calm voice, and, and we're just like, exactly we're just like jumping up and down. I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know, his his laptop early on was you know definitely pivotal to our success because I mean I mean I could make all these connections to Twitch but you know when, when we're here producing all the content you know it is really up to the, the tech people you know oh. who are and uh, shout out to Andy Oaken for approving our new streaming PC yeah Andy oh, yeah, yeah. Thank right. you. So, uh, that's gonna be a beast for some time in the future I'm really <laughs> well looking let's forward talk to that. about this because I know that uh, we have plans of course uh, uh, Nathan and I are from uh, D.C., and that's where the National Go Center is. And so yeah. anytime, if you're in Washington, D.C., you should come to the National Go Center, uh, open, uh, mm -hmm. check, check the schedule for the hours that we're open. It's not a 24-7 club. Yeah, we got like a Wednesday evenings, mm -hmm. a Thursday afternoon, Saturday's Family Go. Weekends are pretty big. Yeah, the Family Go is big. Uh, yeah, lots of parents want to get their kids into the game. Right. It's, it's a fun time there. Um, we're also trying to do monthly or bi-monthly tournaments. And that's something that we're pretty excited about, you know, moving on from here and mm -hmm. the way we've set up this broadcast. You know, we've all, yeah. all, a lot of people have come together, we've learned a lot, and we're thinking we can just keep that going with our tournaments at the National Ghost Center. Definitely. We yeah. definitely want to do that. And we have a big visit coming up. Uh, Michael Redman, Nine Down Professional. Uh, many of you will have seen uh, his uh, videos uh, that we've done on AlphaGo. Right, and right. He'll be in uh, D.C. in oh. September. And so uh, we would definitely want to get him, yeah. uh, get him oh, yeah. on, on the show. Uh, he, he loves doing it. He's, he, uh, people forget sometimes he's been doing commentary in Japan for years. One of the reasons he's so good right. uh, is because he's been doing it for many, many years. And so mm -hmm. uh, we'd love to have him on to do some special presentations uh, from yeah. the National Go Center. Yeah. yeah, for me, I think that I'm, I'm, after Congress, I'm, I'm setting my sights on other parts of the world as well. I think our... Um, streaming this year at the U.S. Go Congress has been a huge success. So, you know, it, it's great to you know get that exposure. Mm -hmm. You know, when when we, uh, you know, on, on Tuesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, we got you know three streams with more than ten thousand viewers. You know, that that's our it's a good outreach. You know, it's in the comment section we saw a lot of people who have never played Go or never ever seen Go, you know, come and stay and enjoy the yeah. commentary and I think that's that's really amazing for me so you know who knows maybe uh, these people will uh, take take a go and uh, even call, go to go Congress one day we'll be very happy to meet you by the way <laughs> if uh, this year inspired you to uh, take part in this uh, great game but yeah I think I think that um, other parts of the world uh, should also have you know more streaming events so I'm really looking forward to Australian go Congress that's in September I'm going there so uh, it's just you know, European Congress is coming up as well. That's that's happening right now. So they just started, right? Yeah, yeah, they just started. So uh, I definitely look forward to seeing more, you know, streaming event. Just not just here at Go Congress, but uh, also in other parts of the world. Yeah, because I'm a big stream fan, so I'm like excited to see Go kind of take what I feel like is its rightful place among like these competitive streams. Mm -hmm. Like I really like the channel VG Bootcamp. Uh, me and Eric Louis, we both are UMBC alumni which is only one and a half miles from where they started that um, BG Bootcamp stream at Xanadu in Baltimore. Oh, cool. oh, so wow. that's a big melee stream. Um, and I've actually been trying to like, I've been sending emails being like, look what they're doing. Like, Go should do this. We should get like yeah. commentators' Twitters out there. We should get the players' Twitters out there. Yeah. We should get streaming on Twitch. Um, Madison, Madison, Wisconsin is gonna be where we're at next year. 
Yeah. Oh, that's right. We did an interview with uh, Dave Weimer yesterday. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. So. I, think, I think it's a great location, by the way. I saw the building. I've never been there, but it's like between the two lakes. What's not to like? Right? They have a beer garden. That's pretty much all you need to go. <laughs> go beer garden, <laughs> lake to go jump in. Yeah. We're going to be good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I think just. Yeah, Go is a great game for for this type of stream. I mean, it's so competitive, right? Mm -hmm. You can you can see you know the players sweating yeah. hard, and just for hours just playing playing this game. But and it's like yeah. ancient, but it's also like digital. Like there's a certain type of intensity yeah. and focus yeah. that people are finding in these really modern games. And it's like, if you really want to find the purest form of that, I think it's really in this game. Yeah, it's just amazing, isn't it? Because like you know modern games, like video games, require like various devices. But Go is just like a wooden board somehow, which is black and white. Pieces and somehow that you know people keep just keep their interests f like for thousands of years. It never fades away. Mm -hmm. I mean, it never just ceases to amaze me. You know, I've I've done commentaries. I've like done stuff backstage for I think this is my fourth year now. I started in Minnesota, but you know every game is different because like sometimes when we are you know when we're streaming here, we get like uh, we, we like fast fast uh, you know knockouts. We get co fights. We mm -hmm. get late night finishes. You know, just like this one, like remarkable turnarounds. You never know what's going to happen. So, so each each broadcast is a different experience so for me. Maybe should we go over like the week a bit, or should we? Yeah, I guess um, a lot of events. Well, well, let, me, well, let me let me ask you guys because you guys have just been so in the thick of it, you know. And, and this is <laughs> yeah. and it just a reminder to folks as well that there's this whole other part of the the e journal team. Right. You know, this is our broadcast arm, but then we have you know all of the coverage. Uh, on on the uh, website, right. we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. We had an internal social feed, and we've had reporters out covering. So if you go to usgo.org, you're going to see a lot of reports. Um, Phil Strauss, our great photographer, has been out there taking a lot of photos. So um, what Jeff for, Fitzgerald was doing some really good work too. Yes, yes. yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. So for for Stephen, you know, what was your highlight uh, of the week here? What what, what, uh, what do you remember best? Uh, I think I think my favorite moment, or yeah, like there should be multiple here, uh, was uh, you know just really getting the three big events of the week to work, you know, because that was. You were, the, you were you were such a basket. <laughs> you were so nervous. <laughs> yeah, you know, especially once you yeah, get on camera, you're fine. But boy, I yeah, tell you, yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, I Tuesday was, was a little was a little crazy. Tuesday was crazy because yeah. um, you know that was, took place in auditorium, so it had to set everything up. We had to move everything. Yeah. yeah. So you know you know that's the part uh, people don't see, but we have to you know we have to do our job. We have mm -hmm. to provide proper content, and you know sometimes we get like little hiccups. And it really came together the last minute. <laughs> like we had yeah. I mean, for, literally. For when literally. we were setting up, like the board was a piece of cardboard on a chair. I yeah. walked in. Literally, I walked in and they had a piece of cardboard for the demo board. And I was like, "This is going to be interesting." Yeah. You got some sharpies too. Yeah. Don't worry. Like, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I think I always get excited. You know, even just after all these, you know, different times to doing big streams. I mean, I did the uh, Twitch stream in April. Mm -hmm. oh, April. That was, uh, I think, um, seventeen thousand. Professional studio, though. I mean, you yeah, can yeah, just yeah. walk in and, and do your thing. I mean, this was right. where you have to do all the setting up. And right. do the on air. It's a whole different ball right. of wax. I mean, if you guys ever come, if you ever go to like go Congress, this is just like a usually we we rent a conference room and then right we have to do set up everything from scratch. So this is not a professional studio by any means. We just had to. We, we do okay. Yeah, yeah, we do okay. Maybe I should but... show the chat my my camera break here. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I could delicately oh, get the this. camera. You get don't, don't break camera. it. Don't break it. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's 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 like I we have all these ex expectations because. You know, Twitch is gracious, uh, great, gracious, gracious enough to provide with us all, with all these opportunities for us to you know have access to tens of thousands of, of viewers. So you know, we don't want to let them down, which is which is why every before every stream, I still get so excited. And you know, even even though I've done streams like these for mm -hmm. for a long time, I, I still. Yeah, like there's still part of me that, that buzzes, you know? Well, and I think for Go players, you know, and I think it's interesting, uh, you know, people don't realize, but, you know, because golf and tennis are so big right. uh, on, on, uh, you know, on TV now. Mm -hmm. I mean, not that long ago, uh, you know, certainly tennis. I mean, tennis until we had the tennis channel was was not was real except for the majors, mm -hmm. it was not a TV sport. And right. golf 50 years ago? Was not on. T I mean, it's hard to imagine right. now because right. it's such a big industry. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know the Go will ever be there. But you know, the, if you just said five years ago that we'd have Go on yeah. TV, people would be like, "Wait a minute, people sitting, you know, playing a board game, right. not moving much." 
doesn't exactly sound, you know. <laughs> it, it's yeah. like the community. It's like the competitive scene. Mm -hmm. It's like what the players are trying, the, right. the place players are trying to carve out for themselves in, the, in this competitive world that we're participating in. And it's that, like the whole drama that people. And we have such great yeah. parts. I mean, yeah. the, and especially the kids. And this is one of the things I want to think about for, for some of our, our, uh, our National Go Center streams because we've got kids playing mm -hmm. there. But especially mm -hmm. for the Congress where we've got tons and tons of kids and a lot right, of them right. quite strong. And I love watching the radio. They're just playing and they're so fast and, they just, yeah. and they're having just such a great time. And they're the stars yeah. of tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I think this, all this stuff we do for me is just like planting seeds, whether it's, you know, exactly. finding platforms or, you know, just reaching out to an audience or just finding our future commentators, uh, find someone who's 100 times better than Could me. Could be out I'm there sure. watching now. Yeah, could be out there watching now. But, uh, yeah, like we, we, just, we just try our best to reach out to as many people as possible and, you know, maybe not every single spectator will become a Go f a fan of Go. Oh, I think but so. I think pretty much every single. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm looking for a 100% conversion like 100%, rate. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> e even, even if, you know, one out of 10 of our, you know, large audience mm -hmm. ha has built a, a continuing interest in Go, you know, that's a huge success for us. So, right. uh, but, but the first step we need to do is to, you know, let more people know about this game. So that's, that's the first step we have to take. So check it out, usgo.org, and again, just click on those links there. And, and uh, there are clubs all over the country. Some of them are big, some of them are small, but they are all welcoming. They all love new players. Uh, mm -hmm. They're very, they're fun. Some of them have tournaments. Uh, there are regular tournaments all over the country. Right. Um, yeah. Just it's, lots of resources. It's not just about the tournaments sometimes, you know. I think Go Congress is a, hu a huge... Uh, a great way to socialize, you know, mm -hmm. you meet your old friend, old, old friends and meet some, someone new. I mean, for me, I've, I've, from all these travels around the world, I've just gotten to know so many people and they're so, you know, nice and It's a good friendly. point though, as a yeah. Go player, you can go, I mean, you can, yeah, you can in find anywhere in the world. Yeah, it's amazing. You, know, you can find Go players and, and, and we're, always, we're always so happy. <laughs> to see other yeah, yeah, players. Yeah, yeah. So I think we should wrap up. I think we should have Nathan take us out. We've been, we've been doing it. Should we have Nathan take us out? Yeah. Anything else that you want to mention before we sign off? Well, other than going to Congress next year. <laughs> he's fixated. <laughs> he's, we haven't even finished this one yet. He's already thinking about next year. Yeah, I, I'll try my best to come. So uh, yeah, this, this is like always the, you know, that one event every year I look forward to. I'm going to make travel plans for well, it. We prepared some pretty nice credits. So. Yeah, because, because yeah. That's, that's right, because some of us get to be on camera, and right. it's a lot of fun, but there are a ones. lot of people. Mm -hmm. That's why we wanted to, Nathan to get out here. There's a lot of people uh, behind us, mm -hmm. and yeah. so uh, that Stephen put together some very nice credits, uh, hopefully of every th everybody. Ooh, we, hopefully we didn't miss anybody. Oh, that's going fast oh, you know right what? Now. There must be a zero missing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, think so we'll... I think we still need to backstage, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It's going at a speed of a bullet. It's going so fast. Yeah. It must be in Biayomi. But yeah, we have, we have a huge crew, you know. Um, you know, it's not just about the host, you know, the people in front of the cameras, but also just people who are working backstage, getting all the computers ready, you know, people recording the games in the master room. It's not an easy job, you know. It's like uh, uh, people like Dennis who, you know, provided us. Hey, Dennis. The, uh, Dennis is so good. I accidentally had him in the credits twice because it yeah. seems like there's two of him. So, <laughs> so Nathan, were you gonna were you gonna read the credits for us? Was that the plan? I think we can do a little voice <laughs> yeah. over there. Yeah. All right. Yeah, All right, so Stephen and I are going to sign off and, and, uh, and turn things over to, uh, to Nathan, right? Thanks, everybody, yeah, yeah. for watching. I see guess you. See you next year? See you next No, well, maybe next month. Well, yeah, at the Cotton, right? At, at the at, Definitely at the Cotton in October and uh, maybe at something from the National Go Center. We will, we will have to leave that open. Great. Looking forward to it. All right. Take care. All right, so this was our uh, U.S. Go Congress coverage produced by Stephen Hu. And me, Joe Cahalan, Chris Garlock, and Eli Furster. Uh, we have a bunch more slides for you here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> this is, OK, here we go. Um, we had Daniel Cho as a translator. I, also, we have another section for commentary later. And a uh, big thanks to our Congress directors. Uh, they were working super hard getting everything together for it. So we wouldn't be here in Virginia without their efforts. So thank you to those two, definitely. Mm -hmm. You can make it faster. <laughs> well, <laughs> what is this? Is this, I think this is 35 seconds? Okay. Oh, yeah, it's like 20 seconds is good enough. All right. Oh, it'll restart, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're more used to being a tech person. Yeah.
Um, what is this thing's going crazy? Okay. <laughs> well, we promise you'll see all the credits sooner. Or later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, actually, uh, you know, this is a this is a huge crew, right? Yeah, a lot went into it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, you can go to uh, usgo.org. That's our e-journal. You've probably been hearing that a few times, but it never hurts to hear it again. <laughs> We're we, back. <laughs> We're back. We'll thank our directors again. Actually, uh, Daniel. Uh, Daniel did the trans translation for the Dingwei interview. Right. 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 Translation for Dingwei. And I guess maybe I'm I'm used to Daniel being around oh, at local clubs sad. doing reviews, so I kind of have this memory of him doing yeah, yeah. commentary as well. But uh, our game recorders upstairs were actually pretty instrumental to what we were doing down here. Um, it's really useful to actually have a record to go through when we're going to be like reviewing the games with the, in the broadcast. So <clears throat> big thanks to everybody upstairs doing that. So that's Dennis Wheeler, Richard Dolan, Bart Jacob, David yeah, Weimer, yeah, Anthony Long, yeah. Russ, yeah. and Russell Harmon, and, and Dale, Dale Bland. Bland. Uh, we had some important support from Akani Neg uh, Nagishi. Yeah. Uh, Her KGS name is uh, Sweetie. Sweetie on KGS, so she was helping us set up the rooms that we used on there, um, the game recorder rooms. Uh, and that's, that's pretty important. Um, it's always nice to have that sort of contact on the KGS side. We had uh, some people taking pictures of the event, uh, Julie Baral, Matthew Baral, Samantha Feedy, uh, Paul, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, I'm sorry, Paul Barchelon? Ba Barchelon. Barchelon, Justin <laughs> Tang, <laughs> Phil Strauss. Uh, I guess that's pretty close. Yeah. Uh, big thanks to Twitch. Uh, getting on the front page of Twitch is probably one of the biggest things that's happened uh, in any of our tournament broadcasts. So that was really awesome. Um, thanks to all the e-journal contributors, game recorders, everything that went into... Uh, also, William and Mary staff, they were actually pretty helpful. We had some random random problems that happened, <laughs> but they were, all, they were always there uh, yeah. to help us out. Um, for more details on how, where to play Go, you can... Uh, we have our... some. We have a bunch of different media channels. We got our like Facebook, Twitter, Twitch. Um, what's what's the Twitter? I think it's US Go. Oh, and the, down here, this is uh, so we're going to be doing this kind of content from the National Go Center. Uh, you can follow the National Go Center on Twitter, and also me on Twitter. That's me on Twitter uh, <laughs> at A E I U M. Uh, you might have seen me in the chat. The A E I U M double underscore. It's a horrible Twitch name, but it's a pretty good Twitter name, right? Five yeah. letters. I think that's pretty good. Anyway. Um, and massive thanks to all the pros that came out. Uh, the, com the commentary from the pros is basically what makes this uh, special broadcast. And there are amateur commentators, too. And uh, our very strong amateur commentators that were that kind of going to help translate the pros, uh, uh, yeah. the lang the, uh, their uh, language to something that us mere mortals can understand. Uh, that is super awesome as well. Um, and We have some co-hosts. Yeah, the co-hosts. I think we are almost done. Yeah. Yeah, you're just going to, aren't, aren't you going to mention my name? I, you were the first name. <laughs> oh, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, just uh, some, some of these uh, co-hosts uh, help us do the Redman. Actually, we got a lot of, uh, you know, diverse casts there. Yeah, um, if you're interested in doing this kind of co-casting or this kind of commentary, like for the next Congress or even for one of our local tournaments, like if you're motivated to do this kind of stuff, like we'll, we'll get you on because uh, we kind of want everything to grow uh, together so we can all work together there. And thank you, Ihan Louis, for scheduling all the pros. And uh, also, Eli, uh, he's a huge um, supporter of the National Go Center. He's there all the time. And... It's, it's really awesome that we got to feature some of his music, uh, and I thought it, would, it fit great. We had a bunch of tournament directors, uh, Joshua Lee, Justin Tang, Todd Heidenreich for the uh, Pergo, Steve Colburn, I think that was the PandaNet, yeah. and uh, James, is, is that for the Facebook event? Yeah. Yeah, James, yeah, he, he did that, and Chu Shang, what, oh, which event? I'm not sure. Oh, that was Facebook. Oh, both of them. <laughs> both. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so... Stephen did all, a lot of these lovely graphics um, and the tech. A uh, big shout out to Andrew Jackson remotely doing our multi-stream. And also Michael Wayneck helped us a lot to prepare before this event. Yeah. Um, and we had some interviews on as well. So uh, our four interviews for the week are uh, uh, Nate Eagle, Andy Oaken, Dingway, Nina Professional, of course, and uh, Dave Weimer, who's the director for next year's Congress.
in Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah. Is that all? I think I think that's no, or not really. What we're, we're we're gonna find out, I guess. Yeah. Oh, maybe if that's it, it just stays on this one. Do we have more? I think that's <laughs> it. Okay. You need pro you need more practice. The the <laughs> the slideshow feature on OBS is is strange. Like, <laughs> we had we have to use a timer because the hotkeys to switch don't work. So yeah. <laughs> we're just kind of OBS is a very wonderful, powerful program, um, and it also has some quirks. Okay, I think that's all for us here, and thanks for watching.